Hello everyone, and welcome back to, honestly, the final episode of No One Has to Die. And we unlocked the final uh, bracket off to the side. At least I hope it's the final one. And let's go from here. And see what's going on. Urgent. Uh-huh. Right. It all seems the same. I don't know. What the hell is going on here? I went to the Tempest Room like you told me to, and now I'm back here in the control room. Wait. What? How did I end up here? Chris, you're alive. I knew you are alive. Steve, I thought you were dead. Me? You guys, you remember. You finally remember. Troy, this is just some part of your tricks, isn't it? No, I have no idea what's going on. You think I'm going to believe that after you lit this fire? I didn't light the fire. You... Don't just get to change your story now. Steve, he's telling the truth. What do you mean? Amazing, I knew this would happen sometime, somewhere, but I never thought I'd be the one to witness it. You know what's going on here? Yes, but for now, there are more pressing matters. Does anyone here have the security codes? I already told you mine last time. RFTS. But did anyone else find new ones? Oh, I found a blue file which said IRHH in it. I found one with, or which said O or S O E E. Perfect visitor. I confess that just before I cut out our last time we spoke, I found a file containing the code E M A S. Now quickly enter all the codes. All right. Security codes confirmed. System online beginning scanning floor. Four codes re received. Full access granted. Full access. You can now lock. Four doors, or four doors at the same time instead of just one. Lionel, tell us what the hell is going on here already. Everyone is, yeah, why is everyone alive again? There's no way I would have enough time for that now. No casualties expected. No one has to die. Yes, now that we have the security codes, codes we're all safe. Let's get out of here then. Cool, I can go boop. Beep. Move you up. Turn that on. Get some water going. Turn that off. And everyone's saved. Thank God. Fantastic. We're all alive. Still alive. Great. But you still owe us an explanation. How is everyone alive again? How did I end up back here when I was... Or, and when was the fire started? Why aren't these rooms fire damaged anymore? Visitor, do you remember what I told you before? Yeah, you invited or invented a time machine. Impossible. Well, it was a bit different to a time machine. I guess it carries your thoughts and memories through time instead of your body. Correct so far. It works going forward, but going backwards, going backwards, you killed someone. They never returned to their body. That's the story as I told it. That person you murdered was my mother, asshole. What? The mother died of brain tumor. You told me so. That was a lie. Lionel killed my mother to test an impossible time travel bullshit. So I lit the fire. I lit it to kill Lionel and wreck his corporation before they ruined any more lives. Chris, I don't believe it. I had suspected as much. Christina, you... Your mother is not dead. What do you mean by that? I've seen her body. You took her brain. Beep. Boop, beep, blop. Turn the water on for fun. And everyone still lives. Oh. Cool. We're alive. Yay. Fire's been contained. Final answers. Your mother's not dead. This is going to be hard to explain. When we sent your mother back in time, she never returned to her body. However, there was uh, not a single fault in our logic. The machine was designed perfectly. The sh machine is what's in the Tempest Room, right? Correct. Anyways, we conducted many more experiments and eventually came to our one fantastic conclusion. When our subject had traveled forward through time, the future was not set, and no time would end or would bend to accommodate our time travel. This is the conscious or the con 
Constant is traveling through time would remain in its own timeline. But when traveling backwards, things are not so simple. The conclusion would become, or the consciousness, the consciousness travel through time would remain in its own timeline. The consciousness would become lost in the mess in time and space. It would find a host, one which owned the consciousness, and one which existed in the time it had been sent back to. But it would not always find its host in its own universe. You lost me. Our research would suggest that we are nearly infinite amounts of universes, each nearly identical with only minute differences between them. So then, Christina's mother traveled backwards through time. She was not alone. Trillions of her, maybe even more, traveled too. They would land randomly into different timelines. She would land in the same timeline, and one consciousness would override the other. In some timelines, no one would even know that Christina's mother had even left, or the consciousness that returned to her body wasn't from her uni their universe. A rare few co consciousness would land back together where they began in their own universes, but many timelines were left, like here, in this universe where Christina's mother's consciousness left the world, but no other consciousness returned to fill her body. Because of this, the body remained empty, and Christina's mother was effectively dead. But her consciousness lives on in another timeline and universe. I'm not buying a word of this. But it explains everything. This is why everything kept happening over and over again, and this is why we're all here. Yes, it took me a while to figure out, but we have all been brought here by the Tempest Machine. Visitor, you remember a time in which you let... Everyone die apart from your or from myself, correct? Yeah. Then you gave me access to the Tempest Room. Well, each of those people remember a different reality. One where they were the only survivor of the fire. That's right. I had to wait and do nothing while Chris died. I had to wait and do nothing as all of you died time and again and again. At the end of each of these realities, a survivor entered the Tempest Machine, which had had its clock set to the beginning of the disaster as a security measure. When each of us entered the machine, we were randomly shot into another universe. Some of us would have ended up back where we started, and no one else would remember what had just taken place. But where... Or, but there would be a few universes like this where, by chance, all of us came from five different universes into one. And that is how we are all here together now with memories of different futures. Whoa! But the chance of this happening would be practically zero. Actually, with as many universes there are, it is incredibly likely there were probably hundreds of universes in which the same thing has happened as it's happening here. Nothing about this seems incredibly likely. But it's the truth. And that's a whole lot of reading. Oh, and this thing again. Uh, boop, bink, boop, boop, beep. Wait, what? Lock, lock. Get, get in there. Lock. Huh, can't lock everything. Well, I'm going to turn that on. Then turn it off. I let the fire keep on doing its thing. No one has to die. Cool. Pretty neat, guys. Pretty neat. It was contained. Hey, guys. All of our paths meet up here, right? They do. I suppose they must. Soon we'll all be able to talk in person. I can't wait to see you again, Chris. I'm so glad you're safe. I can't either, Steve. I can't believe you're alive. We're both alive. Well, hurry up then. I'm already here. Okay, coming through now. I see you. I'm in. Me too. Hey, has anyone unlocked the door for me so I can come down too? Hello, anyone? Guys, stop talking in person for a second and look at your message. Damn it. Typical. Now, what do I do? Visitor? 
Christina, can you ask Lionel to open the door for me? No, sorry, I don't think I have the chance to. Is something wrong? Where are you? I stepped out for a moment. I'm at the Tempest Interest. I haven't been entirely upfront with all of you. What do you mean? I've been here before. Well, weren't you listening to Lionel? We've all been here before. No, I've been here before to a timeline just like this one where we all managed to survive. Except things went a little different that time. For instance, I asked Lionel where the controls for the Tempest machine were. And he told me they were on floor B2 in my section of the building. Later, he explained that the machine can't send consciousness back before the first time it was turned on, which was when my mother was sent back through time. So I thought I'd give things another try, and I'll hop back in the Tempest machine. Don't tell me. This time, while we were on floor B2, I set the machine back as far as it could go to the moment I lost my mother. I'm going back. I'm going back three years to find my mother. This is crazy. What if you just end up in another universe where she's disappeared? Then I'll break into here. I'll travel again. What about the people who care about you in this universe? What about Steve? You should know better than anyone what this feels like. You've had to choose one person's happiness over another's timeline again, time again. In the timeline you come from, you even chose to kill me. I wish I could have, have, I wish I could have Steve and my mother both at once, but I don't think I have that choice. I spent too long wishing she was with me to turn back now. Besides, in this world, I'm a murderer and arsonist. There's no place for me here. Christina, you're not going to stop me, are you? No, no, I'm not. Tell Steve I'm sorry and that I love him. Tell him that I hope we meet again somewhere sometime. But for now, goodbye. Goodbye and good luck. Thanks. I'll, I think I'll need it. And that's it. The end. End. Game over. No more. I guess. But at least no one had to die. That I know of. And these infinite universes. Cool. That's everything. That's all. There is no more. Unless there's, you know, a time contingency. And this game I haven't played yet. And the infinite universes of the cosmos and all that crazy stuff. But anyways, I could go on and on about time possibilities and probabilities because I used to enjoy talking about that stuff as a younger man. But I'm not going to because honestly it doesn't really get you anywhere. Just waste some time. But we all, we, I guess I'll ramble a little bit. Just as you've seen here, all these different possibilities and everyone has to die. To survive. In real life, I wish, you know, if something happens, you could hit a reset button and get a second chance. But in this life, we don't get a second chance at life. Once you're gone, you're gone. That body don't come back. You don't get to transfer over into a new body. And where I'm going with this is enjoy the time you have. Enjoy the people you have around you that you love and they love you. You know, especially if you're a teenager and you think parents are the worst and they're unfair and unjust and not letting you take the cars to go see the movie with, you know, your friends or whatever, what have you. Just know they love you and they want the best in life for you. Or if, you know, you're living with your grandparents or if you have kids or anything, just, you know, take a moment to enjoy everything, which I'm not saying you're not enjoying things now. But sometimes you can get so wrapped up and busy in life that you forget to enjoy the little things. And I guess that's what I'm getting at. Because, uh, for those who do know, I lost my father back in 2008. And for those who didn't uh, know, now you know. And uh, I'm not going to talk too much about it because even today I get teary-eyed and whatnot if I talk about him too much. But, um... I wish I had more time with him and got to spend uh, learning and doing things with him. And but I can 
to enjoy the memories I did get to share with him. And uh, uh, sometimes I let, some days I let my regret almost consume me, and other days, you know, I'm proud to have the time I had with him. And not just with him, I've lost all my grandparents, I've lost uncles, and an aunt. Uh, have I lost? An, no, I haven't lost an uncle. What am I saying? I've lost a great uncle and an aunt, and just a whole bunch of people over uh, the years. And with each death, it makes me realize at this point in time, death is absolute. So enjoy that time you have with someone, whether it's a phone call, a letter, postcard, text message, email, whatever. You know, just enjoy the time you have with them and getting to talk to them. You know, a, a minute to write a message saying, hey, you know, guys, uh, or whatever, what have you. But, um, uh, I'm rambling too much. And I'm starting to get a little teary eyed, so I'm going to end this episode here. So please like, subscribe, comment, do what you have to do. And as always, I'll see you. In the next episode. Later guys.